Hello, I'm Ayla. Welcome to tonight's Ad Advent story. First, let's light one, sorry. First, let's light the Advent wreath. I am lighting one candle for the first week of Advent. Tonight, I will read two stories, A God of Impossible Things and Mary's Magnificent Song. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby inside her jumped and Elizabeth was filled with Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she called out, God has blessed you more than other women and blessed is the child you will have. As soon as the angel had gone back to heaven, Mary knew what she would do. She packed the things needed for her long journey and set out to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Elizabeth and Zechariah lived far away in the little village of en -Karim. It had been a long time since Mary had seen her relative. It would be good to see her again. Mary knew that Elizabeth had been unhappy. All her life, Elizabeth had wanted a baby, but the baby never arrived. Her husband, Zachariah, had been praying for a child for years, but so far his prayer had not been answered. As Mary climbed the hillside toward Elizabeth's home, she couldn't help wondering how Elizabeth could have a baby when she was so old. How could Mary herself be carrying God's own son inside her tummy? It all seemed so impossible that Mary remembered the words of the angel who had appeared to her just a few days before. Nothing is impossible with God. Mary walked up the little path that led to Elizabeth's home and knocked on the door. Now she would find out if the angel had said was true. As soon as Elizabeth opened the door, Mary gasped in surprise. Immediately, she could see that her cousin was pregnant. Elizabeth put her hand on her own tummy and cried out, Mary, what are you doing here? The baby inside me just jumped for joy. How wonderful to see the mother of my Lord. Mary couldn't believe what Elizabeth just said. The two women hugged and cried tears of joy. Now Mary knew without a doubt that everything the angel had told her was true. Every single word. God could do impossible things. Elizabeth, even though she was too old, would have a baby. Mary, even though she was so young, would have a baby. And Mary's baby would be none other than God's own son. God does impossible things. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God my Savior. He has taken note of me even though I am not considered important. From now on, all people will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me. His name is Holy. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months, and every day the two women talked about what had happened. Mary thought about the angel's visit and how blessed she was to be chosen to be the mother of, God, of God's son. Mary, would, co Mary couldn't really understand why God had chosen her. She was just an ordinary girl. She wasn't powerful or rich, and no one outside of her family knew her name, but God did. And one day, Mary's heart was so full of thanks and praise to God that she couldn't hold it in, and all her joy bubbled over into a song. My spirit dances with the news. My soul sings out for joy, for I will be the mama of God's precious baby boy. My heart is filled with gladness, and I can't believe it's true. That God looked down and whispered softly, Mary, I choose you. I'm just an ordinary girl. God saw me as I am. And when I thought, I can't do that, God whispered, yes, you can. The mighty one, my savior, God has done great things for me. And who knows what this child of mine will one day grow to be. I only know what, that through the years and every time and place, all people remember this God of love and grace. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for the magnificent song that Mary sang to you. Thank you for Luke who wrote her words down so we can read them today.